All right, in this unit, we're going to talk about variables and the JavaScript type system. All right, so let's start with variable declaration. We all know what a variable declaration is. In any language, when you need to hold a variable and then you give it a value, you also have to give it a name. And that name becomes a container for a value. Okay, so let's say you want to have a string variable. You declare a variable as a string. And then once you've done that, you can assign a string value to it. This is common across a lot of programming languages. So there is this concept in JavaScript as well. You can have a variable and then you can assign a value to it. But there is one major difference. So let's see how to create a variable and then declare it in JavaScript. The syntax is using something like this. You see here, there is var value equals 42. So the var is a keyword which tells that you want to create a new variable and then you give it a name. The name of the variable happens to be value here. And then you're assigning a value to it, which is 42. Okay, so that's what this line does. Now, you might notice that I don't have information about the type of the variable here. I'm not saying int value equals 42. Okay, I'm not specifying that this is a number. I'm just saying var value equals 42. If I have to declare a variable for a string, I would say var value equals hello world. Okay, so JavaScript does not have the concept of typed variables. Okay, there is no pre declaration of type required in order to create a variable. You just create a variable and then you can assign whatever value you want. All you need to do is use the var keyword to declare the variable. Now, here is another way of doing this I have two lines here, I have a var value. So it just declares the variable, it doesn't allocate a value to it. And then the next line uses that variable, it says value equals 42. So even in this case, it still works because JavaScript does not expect to know what value you're gonna assign to the variable. All you need to do is just use var. 